Hello. As part of our China Credit Spotlight series, I'm here with Huma Shi today to talk about the construction machinery sector in China. Hello, Huma. Hi, Cindy. In your article, you mentioned that the sector is currently experiencing a slowdown that could prolong for another two years. However, the major domestic companies' financial risk profile have not been damaged thus far. Could you explain and elaborate on this, please? Sure. Um, the industry has been in the downturn for the past 18 months. Uh, we've seen slower demand, um, increasing inventory, and then also the credit quality of the customers is deteriorating. But under such tough operating conditions, uh, we have um, seen that the major players are taking defensive measures in order to withstand the protracted downturn. Um, just to highlight a few uh, measures that they've taken, first is a tightened credit underwriting policy, second is demanding higher down pay from the customers, and third is internally they are increasing their controls over cost and then also increasing cash flows. And another positive factor is uh, we believe that the refinancing risk in the next 12 months is limited. So overall, we think the major players in this sector uh, will have sufficient financial strength to withstand the, uh, continue to withstand the uh, sluggish demand. Oh, you mentioned only modest recovery is likely to occur from the government's continued investment in infrastructure projects. Given China's economy slowing down as a whole, why shouldn't we expect a massive stimulus package like in 2009? The Chinese economy is cooling, and as you can see from the chart that our S&P's uh, forecast for China's GDP growth for 2013 and 14 is about 7.3 percent, which is the slowest since 2008. But um, unlike 2009, under the global financial crisis, the Chinese government injected about 4 trillion RMB um, into the economy to try to sustain growth. And the bulk of it went into um, fixed asset investment, which led to the uh, constru construction machinery sector's boom. This time around, the new leadership is highly unlikely to take that drastic measure. And um, that being said, infra investment in infrastructure will continue uh, because it's evidenced in the uh, central government's urbanization plan. So uh, what we believe is this sector will recover over the next two years, but at a modest level, about 5% year-over-year year growth. Given domestic demand is slowing down, major companies are going overseas to expand their sales growth. What are the credit implications of that? Yeah, the key um, China machinery makers, um, their strategy to go overseas to hopefully uh, gain more market share um, is um, by uh, competitive pricing in emerging markets, countries like India, Russia, Brazil, or the African countries. And um, on average, I think their product pricing is about 15 to 20 percent lower than those of their international peers. But it is our view that um, lower pricing strategy will not, in the short term, that help them to restore sales and profitability. In fact, um, it will probably lead to margin compression. And, and also, the uh, global construction uh, market, one third of the market share is taken by Caterpillar and Komatsu. Um, these two key players have taken about have maintained this market position for decades. Chinese players in the recent years, the top three, Zoom Lion, Sunny, and XCMG, um, had about 10% of the market share. Um, but this modest level was probably largely due to aggressive pricing. And in our view, it's not sustainable and then probably in the long run will have a negative impact on their profitability. Thank you, Huma. Thank you for watching. See you next time.